Athletic Director Tony Clark and the Selection Committee, we congratulate the 2022 THS Hall of Fame class. Our first inductee is Eric Andelsen. Eric was a letterman for the THS football and track teams from 1981 to 88-83. As a senior in the sport of football, he was selected first team All-District, All-State, and selected as a prep All-American. He played football from 1984 to 1987 for the LSU Fighting Tigers, and was selected as team captain and was All-SEC in 1986 and 87. <laughs> He was then drafted by the Detroit Lions in the fifth round of the 1988 draft. He is a member of the LHSAA, LHSCA. Oh. Eric is a 1984 graduate of THS. He was a two-year basketball letterman and a three-year letterman on the THS track and field team and one of the most decorated track athletes in THS history. He was selected for the LHSA All-State Track and Field Team in 1983 and 84. He still holds the THS high jump record of 6 feet 10 inches, which he set in 1984. For THS, he signed with Northwestern State University and is a three-time conference high jump champion. He was a member of the 1985 and 87 Golf Star Conference Team Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, our second inductee tonight, Mr. Eric Lee. Derek Salisbury. Derek is a 1986 graduate of THS and a three-year letter winner in football and track and field. Derek was a running back for the THS football team from 1984 to 86 and one of the most exciting backs to ever play at THS. He is a track and field state champion and is still the current Louisiana High School Athletic Association state composite record holder in the 110 meter hurdles at a time of 13.73 seconds. This record has stood in the state of Louisiana for 38 years. Ladies and gentlemen, our third inductee, Mr. Derek Salisbury. It's the 1984 THS track and field team. The 1984 THS track and field team won the 1984 LHSA State Track and Field Championship. This team also won the 1984 Parish, District, and Regional Championships. Terry <laughs> Galloway was the head coach, and Lloyd Robinson was the assistant coach. Twelve athletes were selected to the All-State team from this group. This group still holds six of the current THS track and field records. Congratulations, track team of 1984! to win the first ever 5A state championship. Dennis Lorio was the head coach of the team with assistants Terry Boudreau, Gary Burnett, Roddy Chasson, Lenny Ford, Glenn Haydell, and Brad Villavaso. This team has won the only football state championship in THS football history. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one last time for all of our Hall of Fame inductees. Our Hall of 
Big night for you, Demarcus Singleton. Four touchdowns, right? Yes, sir. Three, three rushing, one ca uh, run receiving. How big was that for you to do that for your team? That was big tonight. We coming back from a bunch of major losses, so we had to come back and get a win. Plus, it's playoff time. We gotta win three games in a row to get in the playoffs. And that's that's my old team. So since I since I came over, so I couldn't lose to them. Yeah. I think you knew a lot of those boys. You know, you grew up playing with those boys at HL. So was it a little emotional? Uh, you could you could say that, coach. <laughs> yeah, but like you said, y'all were enemies tonight. So you wanted to put them on the first drive. You had that touchdown run. Just talk about how that got got y'all going here. They got us going. We had to start out strong. Every weekend we've been we've been letting opponents score on us. First, we had to get out and get out there, and make our team have com confidence for this game. And I came out, scored, and the team had confidence. Defense took care of their business. We took care of their business, and we was ready. I said, how pressure was the defense? I know everybody's been talking about how bad the defense has been playing all season, but they came out, gave up just seven points tonight, huh? Zero. Donut. All right. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. They, they did score. They did score. I didn't, they did score I, seven. I, I did score but the varsity, the, the main yeah. starters, didn't give up anything. <laughs> yes, sir. So how good was that, you know, to see them play well? It was well good. Practice, we've been practicing on defense. We've been getting offensive players to switch over to defense. So defense been improving from week to week by week. Good deal, man. Like you said, y'all y'all felt that y'all could do this every week, but now you feel like going into the second half of the season with the playoffs getting closer, y'all feel like y'all starting to play good? We're starting to play much better team playing together. We doing good. Like you, like you said, man, you was in Houston last year. How much did you miss this last year, man? I mean, playing on your, in your hometown and, you know, all the local fans here tonight. How much did you miss this? I missed it a lot, but it had a, a lot of good competition up there. And, in Texas, so that made me get better for when I come back down here. That was six eight, now I'm coming back to five eight. So improve my game, made me play, made me play and get better. It's like you have a chip on your shoulder. You know, you've been talking about how people been overlooking you, man. I mean, does that make that motivate you to want to come out here and prove people wrong? That, that make that make me grind harder. Motivation. Everybody, every time they talk about me, I'm not this, not that. I don't talk. I just show them on the field. You also caught that pass. You made a little move, made somebody miss, man. You showing that you. Not only can run up the middle, but you can take it on the outside too. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good deal. So y'all gotta keep it going. Y'all got you know another tough one next week. So it's gonna take for y'all to keep going right now with these wins. We gotta come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we practicing, so we gotta come back, focus on the game. Don't worry about this. This game over with. Not be moving on to the next game. Everybody gotta stay, stay focused. Like I say y'all got three. Y'all gotta win out. Probably just secure that playoff. Bro. So y'all, you you don't want to stay home for the playoffs this year. No, I'm trying to get in there. That's going to be my first time getting in the playoffs this year. We keep winning. Yeah, yeah. And then else you want to say, man? Anybody you want to shout out all of you know, Meek Robertson to all the former state championship teams here, man? Thank, it was everybody, emotional. thank everybody for coming out and watching. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about this big win. Y'all came out, got off to a great start against HL and rolled to a 34-7 to win. How big was this for your team, Coach? Well, we needed it. Um, I mean, with us being 1-5, and five, we need the next three in a row to get ourselves into the postseason. And uh, the kids know it, we know it. We've been preaching it at practice. Uh, this senior group uh, as sophomores kind of had a similar situation the year of COVID. Uh, their backs were against the wall. We were one and four, and we had to win out to make it, to get to four and four. And uh, we had Bro Bridge, we had HL, and we had South Afush left. And they did it as sophomores, and they, they kind of know what it's about. And they did it without a couple of starters that year because we had some guys contact traced and, Ian was a receiver, had to step in and play quarterback the last game, and then he stepped in against John Errett, and we almost beat Errett in the first round. So they know what it's like to play with their backs against the wall, and uh, they came out and showed it tonight. They knew we had to come out and perform. DeMarcus had a great night. Uh, you know, he, he when I said just go have a day, he went have a day. You know, so uh, it, it was good to see him get going. Uh, offensive line played really good. Defense was pretty solid throughout, you know, and we needed that defensively because we had been struggling. And, uh, you know, we needed a big game from our defense, and they gave us that. Mm -hmm. I like to say, especially on a night like this, you know, big crowd, 
your honor in 91 state championship team, which you were probably a part of. And unfortunately, you couldn't be out there at halftime. But like I say, emotional night with a lot of great former Thibodeau High people being inducted into Hall of Fame. And y'all just wanted to make it special here. Y'all did that. Okay. Yeah, it was good for, uh, you know, with all the alumni coming back to, uh, you know, feel good like this and feel like a big THS family. So uh, that's a good thing. You know, uh, it's a feel good night for Thibodeau. A lot of people getting honored tonight. A lot of well-deserving people. Eric Andelsek, Derek Salisbury, Eric Lee, you know, 84 track team. And then our team in 91, uh, all well-deserving of the honor they got tonight. Deal. So like you say, the playoffs are pretty much here now, and you know y'all go have that mindset the next couple of weeks, and it's good to get some momentum. And they're feeling good right now about themselves, and that's the main thing that you want to see. just got to keep the train rolling. Uh, offensively, we've been pretty solid all year. We just you know Ian's been really good, Demarcus has been good, Owen. Oh, you know that that's our big three on offense, and they've been solid all year long. And uh, our offensive line's been really solid too. So uh, we just got to keep it rolling uh, into next week gain some more confidence and, uh, you know, uh, against Central, you know, just try to come out and play our best. I mean, I know uh, Central's down on some numbers this year, but, I mean, just kind of peeking at them on film, they got some really good players, especially defensively, on the defensive line and stuff like that. So uh, they, they, it's not going to be an easy week. There's never no easy week uh, when, you, when you're in 5A football. It's just the nature of the beast. You're playing the toughest classification in Louisiana, and you're going to play the toughest team. Yeah, that's the luck, Coach. Keep it going. Thank you.